It's gonna be a bit noisy today. Just look what's going on behind me. We got the heavy equipment here. Welcome everybody to St. George, Utah. We are across the street from the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site Museum. And here we are at this emergency fossil excavation. I'm glad you're here. The whole point of these broadcasts is not just to show you how fossil excavation works, but also to drum up support for the project right here, right now, because this is urgent. Welcome to Paleontologizing. If it's your very first time, let me introduce myself. My name is Danny Anduza. I'm a dinosaur paleontologist, and I'm here in Utah. Drove the 11 or 12 hours to get here from the Bay Area to show you this and to help out however I can. We're in the Moanavi right now. Pretty special place. This is the very beginning of the Jurassic period. This is just after the extinction event at the end of the Triassic. And so this is a time when the world is changing. You know, this is kind of the beginning of dinosaurs ruling the Earth. A lot of the creatures that were sort of dominant before this, things like Phytosaurs, things like Rawasukians, Dicynodonts, those guys have all fallen by the wayside, they've gone extinct. And dinosaurs are beginning to take over the Earth right here, right now. Uh, at this time that these rocks represent. What's interesting here is that this is it's basically like the banks of a giant ancient lake we call Lake Whitmore. So at the very beginning of the Jurassic period, 200 million years ago, give or take, this was kind of a marginal coastline environment around an enormous lake. We've got strata here that are from dry land, right near the edge of the water, and then we've got strata that are from under the water. Why is this land not protected if there's so many ancient fossils? Good question. Um, yeah, that's not necessarily my department. <laughs> I think it's kind of crazy that this land isn't protected. It belongs to the city, so this is city property here, belongs to the city government, and the city has decided that they're gonna build an electrical substation on the site. And so we're doing whatever we can to, to salvage these fossils before the bulldozers roll in. I wanna make something very clear. This heavy equipment over here is on our side. Um, some local businesses, some local business people, some community members have very generously donated their time and their equipment to help us with this. Very, very grateful these kind folks have stepped in to help us. This is the kind of community support that we really need and we're deeply grateful to them. I'm gonna figure out who they are actually so that we can give them a shout out. Who is this right here so that okay, we can... So the, the two dump trucks are from the city of St. George. And so they're from the city? Well, they're employees, so that's okay. amazing. That's awesome. Um, so that was set up by the city for us. And then in the cat, that's uh, Randy Jones. Randy Jones. Yeah, Randy Jones is awesome. He owns yeah. Canyon Crest Contractor. Awesome. Well, shoot. Thank you, Randy Jones and uh, Amon Bateman. And the city of St. George, too, for lending us those dump trucks and the drivers. That's... Uh, we need all the help we can get. So shout out to them. Yeah. Thanks, I, Andrew. I'm, you're welcome. I'm yeah. about ready to give another contractor a call. Excellent. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, and that is cool looking there. It's like it's like a sauropod. Just <laughs> here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, snacking on an I beam up there. Nom nom. <laughs> Skilled equipment operator there. We're lucky to have some of the best helping us out. Where's the track on here? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, there's one here and there's another one here. Josh is working on trenching around this fish over here right now. This layer down here, this kind of blue-green layer, this is all aquatic stuff in here, so mostly planted fishes. Got some nice fishes from here. And some of them are probably gonna be new species. Exciting stuff. This is scientifically important, adding to the sum total of human knowledge. It's 
rocks record the beginning of dinosaurian dominance on our planet Earth. From the time the dinosaurs first start to really take over. This is their big break. It was the earliest Jurassic. That's what's recorded in these rocks. And that's one of the reasons why it's so scientifically important.